Hey guys, so it's time for a before and after makeup look. So you see that ugly little pimple. I already went ahead and washed my face with this Organic Clear. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Organic Clear Daytime Lotion. I swear by this stuff, it will have your face looking clear, y'all. So for my eyes, I'm going to be using Pure Least Lotus Cream. I do have some fine lines, you know. With my age group and all, we need to keep and make sure that our eyes are moisturized. So that is what I'm doing here. I am moisturizing my eyes. And now because my pores are big and my skin is oily, I'm going to be using some of my perfect picture for minimizer stuff. And I'll list that stuff below. But the first things first, I gotta make sure that my eyebrows are on fleek. So I'm gonna be using this ColourPop um, eyebrow pomade and I'm going to just use it. Normally I will use Anastasia, but honestly, they work both the same, except for the ColourPop one is a whole lot cheaper, like by $13, okay? So yes, and I like this stuff a lot. I'm also gonna be using the Ofra Dark Brown Pencil just to outline my brows. Um, normally I would use the CoverGirl Ink It and I wouldn't have to use anything else, but because I don't have that, I have to substitute with these two. So of course my eyebrows, they probably don't look that great right now, but holds up, a girl is going to sculpt them and make them look oh so fabulous though, okay? Not like the detergent or the smell and stuff, but fabulous. So yes, I'm gonna go ahead and sculpt them and make them look like they were growing out of my face, y'all. Sometimes it takes me a minute, so just bear with me. Now I'm going to be using my Black Opal Kalahari True Colors Foundation, Kalahari Sand Color. And I'm just going to use that to highlight underneath my brow, you know, make them look real clean and crisp. I don't want anything too light because I really just don't want anything too light. And I love this cheap brush. I actually got this from one of those websites where they sell like really, really cheap stuff. I think it was like Dress Link or something like that. It was really inexpensive stuff. So I got it from there. Um, yeah, so here I go again. I'm just trying to perfect my brows. I'm gonna be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Yellow. Let me tell y'all, I will use every last bit so y'all didn't see, but off camera I cut it because I was trying to get all of that concealer out before I opened up the new tube. Why waste it, right? I'm gonna take my brush and I'm just going to plaster that stuff all over my eyelids. It's more or less going to be an eyeshadow base for me I do have eyeshadow bases but you know what honestly it's all the same stuff like seriously now into my Iman pressed powder it's Iman trust me I'm gonna take that I'm gonna take one of my Sedona brushes I'm just gonna use a big brush you notice one of them dome brushes just to get the color all over my eyes because I'm going to make my eyelid colors just one color one even color this is basically my everyday makeup look this is if I really don't want to do anything dramatic, this is what I do, you know? And then I'll take this color by ColourPop, which is called Flutes, and I love it. It's like this matte color, but it's this beautiful color. I love the heck out of it. And I'll just use that to kind of like, you know, give my above crease portion of my eyes just some color. I don't know what you want to call it, but yes, I'm just going to kind of like, Contour my eye with that. Yeah, contour my eyelid with that. And I love it. Like I said, it's called Flutes and it's by Colourpop. And I absolutely love this eyeshadow. I've had it for some months now and I use it like practically every day. But I think it's kind of like drying out. You know, with their formula, you have to be really kind of like careful. So now into the Tartelette in Bloom palette. And I'm going to use, I think it's the Color Rebel. I'm not really sure but I will list all the colors from this palette below. I love this palette because it's neutral. You know, I don't really like too much glamorous makeup because I just like something that's gonna go with something every single day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Something every day. I don't have to just like second guess, like what am I gonna wear with this eyelid? It's something easy, easy peasy. So yes, I'm gonna take that color, which is a very pretty color. It's just like a darker, like a rustic color brown out of that same palette. And I'm gonna use that. I'm also gonna go and use this lighter color as my brow highlight. 
and I think this is a really pretty color. Uh, mainly, a majority of the palette is like a matte color. Um, they're all matte. Not all of it is matte, but a majority. I would say like 85% is matte. There are a couple shimmers, but the palette is gorgeous. If you don't have it, I would highly recommend it. It's a beautiful palette. I'm just going to take that and highlight those brow bones or that under brow. I'm going to kind of like buff it and soften it. And I'm going to go into one of my trusty smudge pots by e.l.f. And this one is called Cruising Chic. Pretty, pretty color. Like, really pretty. It's like 2 $3. Hey, it's like a MAC pot, pay pot. But it's by e.l.f. And it does the same darn thing, you guys. Like, it works the same. Why well, spend like $20? We could spend 3 right? And I have like a mess load of these e.l.f. ones. And I swear by them. So now I'm going to go back into that palette. And I'm just going to take that color that is very similar to the e.l.f. And I'm going to apply that on top of my lip with a fluffy brush. And you guys are probably like, why are you using a fluffy brush, girl, to apply that? Because it gets the job done a lot quicker. It comes out a lot neater. And like I said, this is my everyday makeup look. I really don't like to spend too much time. So back into that more reddish color brown. I'm going to kind of like deepen the eye sockets, deepen the crease just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. You know, nothing too dramatic. But I like the color. I love this color. I will wear this probably like four days out of the week because it's simple and easy for me. And though it may be basic, it still kind of looks dramatic, but not too dramatic. So you can wear this with just like anything. Like seriously, anything. When I say anything, I mean like any kind of hair color, any kind of outfit, any kind of hairstyle. You know, something simple and basic. Now, one of my new favorite eyeliners is the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner, and this is the color uh, Coffee, and it's a dark, dark brown. Okay, so I know you guys are like, why do you like this one so much? Because of the brush, you guys. I could care less about the color. It's the brush. You know I am not that great with putting on eyeliner, but this Milani eyeliner, ooh, baby, shut the front door or open it back because it makes putting on eyeliner so freaking easy easy peasy lemon squeezy like seriously i am so thankful to this milani eyeliner i would not have it any other way um yes so i'm just going to go back into my eye side it's a little bit there and just kind of like spruce it up with that flute spot color pop but yeah if you don't have the new milani stay foot matte eyeliner then girls you better get you some it's supposed to stay put for 17 hours I don't really care about the length of time it's just a brush now to mattify my face and make sure that my foundation stays on all day I'm also going to be using the Too Faced Four Professional oh man I can't even remember the name of it Poreless Foundation um, Primer and I'm going to also be using my Milani Foundation Stick in the color Paula Hari Sand I don't really like this foundation but I use it on t or underneath my Becca foundation in the color bamboo because the Becca kind of comes up as dry to me and kind of dull and flat. It's just weird. I really can't explain it. So if I put this foundation underneath it, it doesn't allow it to be so dry and it just applies better to my face. The color, color looks better. It's just a whole speech that I could give you, but yes, just trust me on that. I'm also going to be using that LA Girls Pro Concealer in yellow just to brighten up underneath my eyes a little bit. And I love using it with this brush right here. I can't really remember who this brush is from, but it's a really good brush. I also have a uh, Sedona lace brush like this too. Either way, it's a great brush. But like I was saying, this is my basic makeup foundation routine every day. Um, it's just simple for me. It'll take me like 15, 20 minutes to do this. Sometimes more, depending on if me and my eyebrows want to get along for the day. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and highlight those areas. You know, like chisel out my face, you guys. And I'm going to be using my new Real Techniques Beauty Blender Sponge and the Diamond one, it's called. I don't have nothing else to drink. Like, I was really on a roll. But you know what, we're just going to finish this without the drink. But yeah, so this is the Real Techniques Beauty.
Kiki blender and it's called a diamond you're supposed to get even more flawless looks with this me particularly I still love the orange sponge a whole lot better this does work okay you can get into the cracks and crevices with this but I just feel like the orange one does just about anything now just to brighten up a little bit more I'm going to be using my elf foundation stick in the color nude it has this weird smell to it it's had this weird smell to it since I purchased it but either way I still like it it stays on all day it's six bucks you cannot go wrong with that it's a foundation I use it as a highlight if you're this pale you can use it as a um, foundation but me I use it as a highlight and it works really really well I'm not, the, I'm not like a huge fan of cream um, contour but I will use a cream highlight so yes, now to bake my face or just like kind of simmer it, I'm going to be using, uh, what do you call this stuff, Air Spun Loose Face Powder. The color that I have is naturally neutral. Six bucks at Walmart, okay? I really actually like this better than my Ben Nye Banana Powder, you guys. And while that sets or simmers, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Big Sexy Mascara, which I swear by. I love Too Faced. I think I'm their number one fan, you guys. I love them, love them, love them. And I have on some individual lashes, of course. I'm just going to wipe that facial powder off. And I'm going to contour my cheeks with my matte Hoola bronzer by Benefit, which I absolutely love. This stuff is amazing, amazing balls. And the brush is actually good, too. Like, for real, I do like the brush. I really like this matte. Um bronzer I would have never purchased it I don't think I would have ever ever purchased it I was sent this by to um, from benefit like a while ago and I really do like it it's a great contour color depending on your complexion but it's a really great contour and then I'm going to contour a little tiny bit with my MAC blush and it's a matte blush it's called film nori and I also love this as well because it's a beautiful dark brown and it all depends on how you use this, but because I'm lighter, I'll use it as a contour, and I'm pretty sure others can as well, but it's a beautiful, rich, chocolatey brown, and I absolutely swear by this blush. So it's a matte blush, and it's called Film Nori. I think that's how you say it, but either way, yes. Now underneath, for my eyes, I'm going to give my eyes some depth, so I'm going to go and use that ColourPop um, Flute eyeshadow and I'm going to also use another color in the um, Tarte palette. Like I said, I will list all that for you guys below. I don't want anything too dramatic because like I said, this is like my basic look. I kind of I kind of try to look sexy, but I don't want to look like overdoing it. And what's better than sex is the um, Too Faced Mascara. This is the waterproof one and I absolutely love this. I use it for the bottom lashes. I don't really, very rarely use it for my top lashes because I like a lot of volume. So, yes. To set my face, I'm going to be using my Pure um, Minerals. And this is their 401 Facial Press Powder. And I'm also going to be sprucing up those cheek areas once again. And also to bronze out my cheeks, I'm going to be using J. Manuel's No Filter. I think it's called Filter. I really can't tell you but it's called it's the beauty bronzer and it's called skinny dip very very pretty bronzy color and I'm gonna also be using the Becca Cosmetics champagne pop um, champagne pop um, highlight with this little cheap wet and wild brush that I also love so much I got it from the Dollar Tree you guys and I'm gonna kind of like highlight and highlight so I can blind you guys kind of like brush it in a little bit because I don't want to look too highlighted you know what I mean to highlight it is ridiculous. But I will be highlighting underneath my brows a little bit, you know, with this cute little fan brush. I only wanted to use the brush. That's the only reason why I'm um, highlighting. Now to moisturize my lips beforehand. Now onto my lips, I'm going to be using some Jordana lipstick. The color that I have on is Frappuccino and it's a matte color. Um, I've had this for a minute and just rub that in my lips and on top of that I'm going to be using Absolute New York's matte lipstick in brown. This is like super cheap. You can get this for like a dollar ninety nine at the beauty supply store you girls. But I like the color. You guys know I love colors that are like this. And to make sure my makeup stays on all day, you know I gotta put a setting spray on which is the NYX LA Pro setting spray. Yes, that is the look of 
perfection at the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Of course, I'm going to wear the head wrap. I'm going to put on some hair with that and make it look even cuter than ever. But like I said, stay deep and deep delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. I love you guys. Something simple. All the info will be in the box below. I love you guys, and I'll see you on a soon to come video. Bye.